What is up guys, hope you're doing well. I'm back from Scotland, I've had a fantastic holiday and I really enjoyed every minute of it. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is the best thing ever for me. I had such a good time. There's theatre shows on all throughout the day and it was it was brain overload. It was so good and Edinburgh is so cool. I got back Saturday night and then yesterday I had a, a golf open by Liam Harrison who runs a channel on YouTube called Golf Vlogs UK. Go and check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. And it was absolutely brilliant. It was so good, I really had fun there. It was a great day. We all had a shotgun start at two o'clock. And you know, met some, some friends there and met a subscriber. So yeah, it was really good, I enjoyed it and look forward to playing more stuff like that. Really enjoyed it. On with today's video, we're gonna do a Q and A guys. I've got loads of questions. I've, I've picked a few at random and I'm gonna answer them now. I've got them on my phone here. So the first question we've got is from Lil Gyro 1995 cool name, and he says, would you be able to do a video on how you did the training motor? Yeah, of course I can, I mean it's simple, but I will do a, a training video if you want. I mean, it's a simple mix, just four to one again, using hydrated lime. Ben Taylor says, great video Stu, just subscribe to the website. Any chance you could do some pointing videos like weather struct, etc. Also, are you doing any courses privately? Oh, and then he went on to send a few messages. I didn't know what he meant at first, but he's, he's thinking of like getting lessons or something. But I will tell you guys, I was actually thinking of doing a workshop, but I was just trying to build the channel a bit more and just maybe just go and rent a place out for the day and then we'll all get together and then build a wall or something like that. So yeah, that is something in the pipeline. So hope that answered your question, Ben. Thomas Bunker says, good video, can you do English Bond? Of course I can, yeah, I've got lots of videos to come, Thomas, you know, I'll be doing English Bond and all the different Bonds. There's Garden Wall Bond, there's Herringbone and lots of other interesting, cool, decorative Bonds in Brickwork and I'll try and cover them all as best I can. George P says, you haven't got the Bricky's eye with your tape out that much. Well, cheers for that. I appreciate your comment. And the reason I've got the tape out is just to check and to, to show, and don't forget I'm giving lessons, George, so I've got to give the best practices. You know, I can't just build a wall without putting the tape because that's not really a lesson, is it, if you think about it. Jake C says, you ever do a Victorian conservative video? Mate, loving the vids, keep it up. Yeah, like I said, Jake, if I get a Victorian conservative in the future, I'll cover it, obviously, in my video, and then we'll put it on the channel. Scott Jeffrey says, Great video, I'm starting night school next month. I've been practicing in the garden to give me a head start. Does subscribing to your website give you even more information or will all the videos be uploaded onto your YouTube channel? Thanks, mate. I think he's referring to what will the content be on, on my new website. It's not just, it's gonna be some free content, Scott, but I'm gonna be doing paid content as well because the videos I'm gonna be putting on there are like, going to be lengthy videos like not speeded up like they are on this channel they're going to be full full on lessons you know with me speaking with the new microphones here just testing this mic out here so yeah there'll be full detailed lessons so you can learn from that so i can't really do them for free because they're going to be taking a long time to film a long time to edit and that so yeah there will be free content and paid content billy cox says i'm going to be honest here mate i'm only 21 qualified bricky also when i first started watching your videos a month or so ago i judged the book by its cover and i thought you were very amateurish with some of the stuff you did was i wrong absolutely amazed by the stuff you do and love the videos amazing bricky with great tips and started using your methods in my own stuff brought me on leaps and bounds please please keep up the great work cheers billy like, like i replied to him said you should never judge a book by its cover. Since the, the old saying it's so true, I've done it myself ages ago. I judged this guy in Thailand calling him because he had a tattoo and top knot. I was calling him all sorts. He looked idiotic and all this. And the next minute, he walked around the corner helping a, a woman up the, uh, the steps with the pram, doing a very nice gesture. So that was the moment I stopped judging people by the way they look. Anyway, cheers, Billy. Tevin Wevan says, can I just ask something? When you're building a wall up, how do you avoid getting to the height you want and there still being half a brick left to go or it falls in the middle of the half brick, if you know what I mean? Tevin, I don't know what you mean, mate. Uh, 
I'm sorry, mate, I don't know what you mean. And finally, I just want to broadcast this comment of Jeff Jones, which I thought was fantastic. He's talking about me deciding to take golf off the channel and stuff, you know, changing things and trying to feel with what works and stuff like that. And he's put, hi, Stu, remember, the only constant is change. Truest saying ever. You're a top bloke, mate, so keep doing what you're doing. And he left a saying like a mantra at the bottom, saying, per ardua ad astra. It's a Royal Air Force saying and it means through adversity to the stars or through struggles to the stars. And I thought it was fantastic because it's so true, you know, things are always changing and stuff, but we're always moving forward and we're always striving to be the best. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. If I've not covered your comments, please just try and ask some more questions. Really appreciate it. Lots more stuff coming up, obviously. I've got, oh, if there's any golfers watching again on this channel, don't forget to subscribe to Stu Crompton Golf, where I'm going to be releasing the video from yesterday's event, which was really good. I was hit by a golf ball. My playing partner's trolley broke three times. It was, it was so funny. And yeah, so you head over to Stu Crompton Golf for that. Other than that, guys, I think I've covered everything there. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments. I'll do lots more. Don't forget, drop your questions below, and I'll try and answer them. Or I could do another video like this. That's cool, isn't it? To get more of a like a personal reaction, you know, rather than writing the comments. Even though I do reply a lot to people in the comments. But anyway, other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like rating. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hop over to bestbricky.com for training videos coming soon, very soon. And don't forget, if you're any golfers watching, Stu Crompton Golf, okay, because I've took golf off the channel. Just to like recap on that because there's still a few people not come over, I don't think. Anyway, thanks very much guys. I'll see you in the next video.